Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I wanted to do another medical related video. You guys seem to really like that subject. So um, here's another medical video for you guys. So I want to talk about strokes this time. So there's basically, there's two types of strokes that happen to our brain, to our head here. They're called ischemic strokes or hemorrhagic strokes. Basically, one is a clot happens inside the brain, inside here, um, and that stops blood flow to that particular part of the brain and then things start dying. So depending on where that uh, tissue, the brain is dying, depends on how it's affected our body. There's a hemorrhagic stroke, which means there's a bleed, which means a vessel inside the brain has busted, and now it's bleeding, putting pressure on the brain, which can also cut off blood flow. Huge number of things can happen there as well. So there's a couple of tests we run pre-hospital to tell if someone's having a stroke. Now, we don't have the big fancy machine yet to scan people's head pre-hospital, but we can get to the person's home and tell if they're having a stroke pretty, pretty reliable. So what happens is a lot of times they get deficits on one side or the other. It means they get weakness to one side or the other. It means their arm is just completely limp or they can't raise it up. So we raise it. One of the tests we do is we get them to hold their hands out, get them to close their eyes. And if you see this one fall or this one fall where they can't hold it up, then that's a positive sign the patient may be having a stroke. Same thing with the legs. You get them to push your their legs, their feet forward, like they're uh, pushing gas pedal or brake pedal, and then to pull the toes back to you to see if there's any weakness in the legs. You can see their smile, have them smile for them, show your teeth. You'll see like this one side of the face doesn't have any muscle tone and it's falling down. So when they smile, show you their teeth, then it's like this. So you can see that, it's pretty obvious. Now some of the later signs are the pupil starts uh, changing diameter. So our pupils should be the same, equal after the light. But sometimes with these strokes, it's a late sign, you'll see them like this will be, this pupil over here might be really small and this pupil is blown, it's dilated. So that could be another sign of stroke. Something else you can notice is their speech. Uh, they may have trouble getting words out, like I do sometimes on camera. Uh, it's slurred. Uh, they may be repeating the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, they may not be able to make any words make sense. The words they're saying is like pink dog. Uh, red dog, uh, home, like they're just saying random words that don't compile a sentence. And you're like, what the heck is this guy talking about? Well, those are signs and symptoms of a stroke. So with the ischemic stroke, the one that's the clot that's cutting off blood flow, these are the ones you kind of see, like I call them mild sense symptoms. I know that's kind of rough to say, but they're mild. So that's where you see the weakness, the things like this. The hemorrhagic sh stroke is where uh, you have the one that's busted. A lot of times you're going to see these patients, their blood pressure is through the roof um, and then all of a sudden it drops down. And these patients, typically the hemorrhagic stroke patients, they're more severe. Like these patients go unconscious very quickly. They mean they're not awake, not talking to you. They start projectile vomiting. Uh, vomiting is, I've seen it hit the back windows of the ambulance. It gets hit, hit the roof of the ambulance when this goes. Um, so those are you know, kind of the, the things there. So you can take them to the hospital, depending on which hospital it is, is a time frame. This is a time sensitive matter because you've got brain tissue dying. So you've got to get blood flow back to the brain or all that tissue up here that is losing blood is just going to die. It's going to be irreversible. So the sooner you can get the patient to the hospital, the better off. Some hospitals are, this is this within a couple hours. Some hospitals are doing six to eight hours post strokes now. Um, so. It depends on which hospital your time frame that you're looking at. Now, if it's the clot, they go in there and they can put in stents. Uh, they can give like an aspirin uh, dose as well. And then they give basically uh, a super aspirin to break up that blood clot to get blood flow back in there. So if it's a hemorrhagic stroke, they got to do surgery. Um, you got to go in there and you got to fix the bleed. So uh, those are the two things we're looking out for. So one of the things the doctors are going to want to know when you come in there, your loved ones had a stroke, your friends had a stroke, um, you're probably not going to say a whole lot if you're having a stroke, but they want to know the exact time that this started. It isn't like, oh, it was about 12 o'clock. It was about two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, you know, they went to bed at nine o'clock. We got them up at seven and they weren't right. That's a big time frame that this is uh, happening. And it's a time sensitive matter when they're giving some of these medications and procedures. So they want to know exactly. So you want to say, we were watching the news at five o'clock and I was talking to her and her face started to droop. 
or we were eating dinner at 6.35 and I noticed that his speech got slurred and we knew there was a possible problem. So uh, be as precise as possible with this time frame that, you know, I started talking to him, I was on the phone, um, and you may have to narrow it down to a couple hours and that's the best you can do. You can say, I talked to her at 12, she sounded fine. I talked to her at two o'clock uh, a couple hours later and her speech was slurred. So my first responder peeps that are watching this video, always, always check a blood sugar because you get that patient that's low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, they will mimic a stroke and you get their blood sugar back up to normal and the stroke symptoms go away. They weren't having a stroke, it was hypoglycemia, their blood sugar was low. So always check a blood sugar, please. So I hope this video helped. You never know when you'll be the first responder, remember the right gear and the right training. So if you like what we're doing here on the Skinny Medic channel, I'm gonna give you three ways you can help support the channel. Number one is go to shop.skinnymedic.com. Look at our pre-made kits and our supplies we have there for you. You can purchase those and then we um, use that to help support our family and support the YouTube channel here. Number two is our Amazon affiliate program. You can click on the link down below, put that in your toolbar, put that in your favorites. Anytime you go shopping on Amazon, just go through that link and we'll get credit for it. So you don't have to buy anything medical related, anything from me, just buy what you would normally buy off Amazon and we will uh, see some benefit from that. And number three is we have started a Patreon account like many others. Uh, here recently. So our ad revenue, if, although it isn't much, does help. It's currently down because of uh, my channel being considered uh, for mature audiences. So uh, it's not ad friendly. So we're still getting some ad revenue, but it's down. It's about, about half of what we normally see. So like many other channels, we have started a Patreon account. So I'll put down, uh, down below. Uh, many of you have already uh, pledged. Even a dollar a month goes a long way. Um, so we're almost at 50,000 subscribers now, right? like 49,000 something right now as I'm making this video. So a little bit, every little bit helps, especially you guys that are overseas that I can't ship to. This is a great way for you to support the channel if you feel like you want to support the channel. You don't have to, of course, but if you want to support the channel, Patreon's a way to do it. So we appreciate it. Thank you guys. Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I want to do another medical... Can't talk. My hands... Take them out of my pockets, got dodgy like this. Sorry. Those are those. Those.